TV Rain has always had to choose its words carefully. It's the only news channel in Russia that isn't pro-Kremlin. Now the authorities are telling it what words it can and cannot use. Editor-in-chief Tikhon Dziadko tells viewers, we continue to tell you about the war, which the military authorities call a special military operation. It's very important for Russian authorities not to use the words such as invasion or war. But for the Moscow prosecutor's office, TV Rain isn't trying hard enough. It's ordered the channel to stop spreading what it calls false information regarding the actions of Russian military personnel. A few hours after speaking to Al Jazeera, Tikhon left Russia with his family. TV Rain's website is blocked. All that's left is this stream on YouTube. State TV refers to a special operation zone in Ukraine. The coverage is concentrated on what's happening in the battles for Donetsk and Lugansk, now recognized as republics by Moscow. There's no mention of the attacks on Kiev or other Ukrainian cities. Ina Anatolievna is one of the 64% of Russians for whom television is their primary source of news. Do they bomb? As I heard, it's just the opposite. They try to somehow protect the peaceful population as much as possible. I can't say I'd supported this from the beginning, but now I do support it. That's after the Kremlin's and the Kremlin's foreign channels don't refer to an invasion. Russia will continue, though, with its military incursion. In Arabic, the headline reads, Russia's military operation to protect Donbass. And in French, Russia will continue its offensive in Ukraine. Russia's communications regulator has accused 10 outlets of falsely depicting what it calls the military operation in Ukraine. One of them's the Novia Gazeta, and its headline says, well, at least there's some good news. The word peace hasn't been forbidden yet. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Moscow.